What's up everyone, Chris from Full Steam Designs. So it's been about two weeks since I got my Xtool P2. I've had a little bit of time to mess around with it and I just wanted to make a quick video showing off some of the features that it has that I thought were really cool. So the first thing is setup. There's really hardly anything that you'll actually need to do on this. It's pretty much ready to go out of the box. It's got really good instructions that explains everything and they're pretty simple too. This is a pretty small manual, so it's nothing too overwhelming. Uh, basically all you'll have to do, they give you this bottle of coolant. You'll need to mix it with some water. They even give you a funnel and you just pop off this panel in the back here. You can fill it up. It took me about 10 minutes to do and the machine was pretty much ready to run after that. Oh, I also had to hook this hose up. That just goes in the back and this is just to get the fumes out. So as you can see, I've got their optional riser base, which is something that I recommend getting with it. So this will allow you to move the tray up and down, work on bigger material. If you're gonna use a rotary, it'll give you a lot more room for that. Now this is all metal construction and this was something that I needed to assemble. Took me maybe about 20 minutes, uh, probably longer than it needed to because I was playing on my phone a lot of the time. Uh, as far as construction of the machine itself goes, these parts here are plastic, but the insides are all metal. And then you've got these nice slats here, which is like an alternative to one of the honeycomb laser grids. And I kind of like this a little bit more. They even give you these really cool clamps, which just hook around the grid and then they're spring-loaded, and that'll hold your material down. Another thing I really like is these hinges. So you've actually got hydraulic supports here, which help raise it for you, and they hold it up into position. So real quick, let's talk about software. You can use Lightburn with this, and honestly, I figured that's what I would use because it's what I use on everything, and I always just kind of default to using it but I gave this a try first and it's actually really good. So this is Xtools Creative Space or XCS. Um, it does everything I could need it to do for the most part. So a couple things that I really like about this. So you've got a couple cameras built into the machine and I can take a picture here. And now it's got this picture of my material and I can use that as a reference to actually move my designs around and get everything set up right. Now, if I need something a little more precise, I can go to this uh, capture close view, move that over, maybe like this corner here, and then the laser will move over, and there's actually another camera on this laser. So the first one's back here. There's another one under the laser here, and it'll take a picture, and it's much more precise. So if I was really trying to locate something like on, I don't know, a little round piece of wood that I had or something, that would be able to get it exactly where I needed it, where the top camera here is going to be affected by like a fisheye effect. So right now I've got the machine running. It's very quiet as you can tell. It gets a little louder when you actually run it because it'll have a fan getting the fumes out uh, and it has a fan on the laser that runs. But when it's just sitting idle, it's very quiet. Now, there was one more thing that I needed to do before I could run a project, and that was just to adjust this mirror here to make sure that the laser was uh, focusing properly. So you just pop this little cover off here. They've got really good instructions. They've actually got an instructional video on their website. It'll walk you through the steps of it. They even give you the tools. So here's the little screwdriver they give you. I just had to loosen up one of these screws on top and then I could turn this screw. I needed to turn it like an eighth of a turn and it just took that dot and moved it over a hair. They have you use like a little piece of tape. It, it's really easy. So this brings me to my first projects. Uh, uh, this is nothing super fancy and I know it's not perfect because the material wasn't actually flat in there. I didn't use those clamps to hold it down and this piece of cardboard does curve up a little bit, but I was able to get going on this within maybe 15 minutes of, of getting the machine started. Once that laser was adjusted, it's just really easy. The software is very intuitive. And, you know, again, I use Lightburn for everything, which I wouldn't necessarily say is intuitive. Um, it's nice that even as someone with experience, I can just jump right into this and use it. I don't need to think about everything. Everything just makes sense. If I wanna draw, you know, a rectangle or insert an image, you can see here, it's just all right along this left side. 
once you're ready to process the job, you just click process and it'll walk you through everything. It's, they, they did a good job on this. I'm, I'm really impressed with the software. Now this doesn't come with a rotary, but you can use the existing rotaries that they make and it just connects to this little plug right here. So again, very easy to use. It's got a drop down menu that you select if you're using the rotary. You can see this screen here. See, it's got all your different options. This can even do like work on curved stuff. I haven't messed around with that yet, but that seems really cool. You can take like a bowl or something with a curve to it. I think I'm gonna try some of my wavy flags and engrave those. So I'm really impressed with this machine so far. If you're interested in learning more or buying one of these for yourself, I'll put some links down below. Uh, they've got a couple good sales going on right now that you kind of get some introductory pricing on. Uh, so make sure you check those out if you're interested in one. If you like this video, please share it, uh, hit that like button, leave a comment, that all really helps me out. And if you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll make sure I get back to you. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see everyone over on one of these other videos.